What's up? Welcome back to the Metalhead Car Show. A little while ago, I did a video on the ones that got away. With this video, I went and looked at some really cool cars that were made for production and then just didn't happen. Some of those cars being like the Vector WX8, the D Tomasa Pantera, the Honda HSV10 to name some. But there's always been one car I always felt like I should have mentioned, and that was the Ford GT90. The 90s kids will understand this, but the Ford GT90 was the 90s Ford GT supercar. And it was always meant to just take on the world, be better than everything else, while still having the essence of the original Ford GT40, but with this modernized version and the new edge look. The Ford GT90 was shown off in 1995, being just about 30 years after the Ford GT40 was first unveiled. Now, as when the original Ford GT40 used a carbureted V8 and made wild power with it, the Ford GT90 did things a little bit different. It used a brand new Ford 5.9 liter quad turbocharged V12 that made 750 horsepower. <laughs> And with some outstanding numbers that Ford claims did a 0 to 60 of 3.1 seconds, which would have put it right on par with the Ferrari F40 and the McLaren F1, a pretty outstanding 0 to 100 seconds in about 6 seconds, a quarter mile time of 10.9 seconds, and a claimed top speed of 253 miles per hour, which as we all know would have put it right on par with the Bugatti Veyron, the CCX Koenigsegg and would have blown the doors right off McLaren F1. Unlike a lot of those cars, this thing looked way ahead of its time. It had this beautiful mix of a lot of these really nice, gorgeous curves to it, but a lot of really harsh pointed, always triangles, but triangles and edges to it. It had a full glass roof, something that you'd find on like a OG Zonda or a XJ220. And much like the Pagani Huayra and the original spikers, it had exposed shift linkage. But unlike a lot of its competition, this thing was originally going to be under $200,000. Ford claimed this thing was actually going to go for $150,000, which in today's money is this. That's an outrageously low quantity of money, all things considered, when you're looking at what this thing was capable of. But what happened to it? Well, we know it wasn't just a concept car that was meant to be forgotten in time. Ford did a lot of work getting this thing in video games and having it made into stickers and car models and making sure it was in the hands of as many people that could possibly see it as humanly possible. This car wasn't meant to be shown off for a year and then just forgotten about. This thing was actually meant to be in production for people to go buy and drive. But Ford decided to can the GT90 in favor for something a bit more traditional. They canned the GT90 to actually fund the program that was going to be the new GT40, or as we now know it, the Ford GT. Using realistically a much more tame 5.4 liter supercharged V8 making 550 horsepower. Now, a 200 horsepower drop is pretty substantial, but in all reality, it wasn't a bad idea. Now, as when Ford didn't end up using that V12 in any Fords, that V12 did get used in Aston Martins up to 2016. Now, let's be real, that 5.4 liter V8 is much easier to maintain and actually keep running than that 5.9 liter V12 ever was. Sick engine. Long term, the V8 was the better option. So, where is it now? We don't know. The Ford GT90 was auctioned off in 2009 by Ford and was rumored to sell for $3 million. It hasn't been seen in a very long time and its current status and drivability is completely unknown. One thing I do just need to say about this is it should have happened. I think if this happened, Chevy probably would have went ahead and made the twin turbo mid-engine Corvette and Dodge actually would have went ahead with the mid-engine Viper they're working on. For those who don't know, yes. There was a mid-engine Viper being worked on. Very few photos, but 
it almost happened. Frankly, I could probably do an entire episode on Dodge concept cars that never happened. That'd be really cool. If you want it, let me know in the comments. Anyway, I think if Ford did this, it would have pushed one of the other companies to go make their mid-engine supercar. And where we'd be now, we'd be so much farther ahead and America would have been way less of a joke than they were. What I mean by that is American cars always have the tendency of fast in a straight line but can't handle to save their life. But if we started making these supercars back in the 90s and that technology got pushed on to the Mustang, the Camaro, the Corvette, the Challenger, we'd be so much farther ahead. But that's not how it went. But I want to know, what's your thoughts? Were you into the Ford GT90? And it, had it happened, do you think the other manufacturers would have caught on? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed what you've seen. I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.